Happy New Year and Woo! welcome to a brand new episode of Bike Fit. Wait, no, it's not Bike Fit Tuesdays. Bike Tuesdays. Bike Check Wednesdays. We're going to work on that name. This is a bit of a different video to usual. I'm in James's shop and he's been meaning to show me this bike for ages and ages. You've had it in stock for a while. It's gone through a few different builds and because of a few changes to my channel this year, I'm going to be featuring some more bikes. Here is the first one ever. Hello. How was your Christmas? James, it's very hard to have this conversation because it hasn't actually happened yet. Oh. It's New Year's for the sake of the video, but not actually, it's not really New Year's. We're lying to you. But we are going to show you this bike, which is a 17,000 pound Sato. Put your phone away! Unprofessional. So this is a bike that, actually I have one of these in here, a few, we saw quite a few of these now, prior to the launch. It was launched about nine months ago as their new tri-composite um, technology frame, which I'm going to come on to in a bit. But I have one of these in my shop that um, a customer of mine, who is also a viewer, hello John, uh, had purchased from us and it was on the shop floor and on display, uh, waiting for him to come and collect it. And I think we sold three bikes off the back of it. So as a result, I bought this as a display bike. Uh, this is a custom made, handmade in Veneto, uh, which is just outside Venice in Italy, northern Italy, and it is handmade from the ground up. It's basically full custom, custom geometry, custom paint, and you can have it in any colour you want, but this one is particularly special because it uses their new tri-composite technology, which if you look very carefully here, has a, a red metal filament. There, there are different colour options, I believe it comes in uh, blue and green options as well. Uh, that are woven into the carbon fibres. The idea behind this is it helps dampen high frequency vibrations from the road, making the bike a little bit more comfortable. But the real key to this is that it enables us to get a really, really good fit without any potential limitations to the way the bike's um, set up. So, for example, we can specify stem lengths, we can specify head tube lengths, uh, and, and get the fit really nailed down. So this is a this is basically the the ultimate in my fit first, buy later adage. We take, we take, start a bike. We start with a customer's fit, and we design the bike around that. We design the bike around the specific needs of an individual, and that's really the main benefit of, of why we sell this. This represents our best-selling product. We sell more of these bikes than anything else. Uh, this particular frame, well, this particular bike is quite expensive. We wanted a, a bike on display that represented a halo product that you don't really see in any other bike shops you don't see bikes that are worth 17 grand in in, in bike shops generally speaking uh, this one is featuring the the lightweight Meilenstein wheel which actually is a little bit old these days uh, there, there are a few old, a few newer iterations but I haven't got around to bringing them in yet you mean to say that this isn't even the most expensive spec oh you can no do. no way this this could go well how over is it seventeen thousand pounds the frame's over seven grand this tri-composite technology uh costs over a thousand pounds to do it's extremely labor intensive very very difficult to do they're the only company on the planet that are actually doing this sort of thing so uh, that's kind of why it's a lot more expensive and it's also the other thing you've got to consider that it, it's it's only made by a select few people it's not the same as like your treks and your specialized it's not the same product you're not comparing apples with apples it's just got a new dura race on it one of the first shops in the country to have the new Dura Race. I've got the new Dura Race. Yeah, but you're not a shop, are you, Bozo? I am not a shop. Over £7,000 sounds quite expensive for a frame. Uh, just to be a little bit more clear though, for that seven grand, you do get a colour match seat post uh, and a custom handlebar and step. So it, to put it into perspective, if you think about a new Colnago, for example, you buy a C64, they're 5,000 quid, then buy an MV seat post, stem and handlebar, that's another thousand pounds, you're at six grand already there. So actually, yes, it's an expensive frame, but it isn't that much more expensive than some of the mass produced options that you'll see out on uh, in other shops. To finish it off, we've uh, spec'd it with uh, Pirelli P0 um, tires with red decals to match the frame. It's also got a, a Berkley Pina saddle, super light, 95 grams, and that amounts to a bike that weighs just over seven kilos, which for a custom bike is pretty good, to be honest with you. All of our bikes, for example, we specify with BSA threaded bottom brackets or T47s, depending on the brand, which basically means that it doesn't creak. 
uh, that's, a, that's a great feature to have. And uh, we can also specify in this instance, we can specify handlebar widths as well and, spe and stem length. So the bike's actually designed around a stem length almost. And you can get matching shoes. Oh yeah. Or, or, well, we've, we've done this quite a few times now. May I just add here, this is excessive. You do not need a bike like this. No, nobody needs a bike like this. Nobody needs a bike. But it's, it's the same as anything, though. Like it's the same people who buy Lamborghinis or you know Vacheron Constantins or what. Like you know what? Sorry, that's a watch. A Vash. Uh, <laughs> or, or you know, hundred grand guitars. It's the same sort of people. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it is. Yes, of course, it's excessive. But you you know you are getting a lot for your money as well. With with a lot of the custom bikes that we sell in here, we tend to do a custom shoe to match them. This one has been done uh, by, so Lake will, will offer you a custom model in their two upper model, uh, a custom shoe in their two upper models, the CX-232 and the 403. This has a uh, red metal, uh, red, red metal stitching. <laughs> this has got red stitching on the shoe to, to kind of mimic the, uh, the, the red filament on the frame. It's got a Sato logo on it. So what we do is we send the paint draft which is a, a visual representation that Salto does for us over to Lake, and then Christian Lake designs us a shoe around that. So that's the kind of the overall outcome, which is pretty cool. You know, if you if you're a custom shoe, uh, sorry, custom bike, nice to have a matching pair of shoes. We've done that with, with most of our Salto sales. Uh, just good, kind of, it's just a nice touch, really, more than anything else. Uh, you, this bike is on display at Bicycle at the moment and will be until somebody wants to buy it. it is, I mean, it is for sale, but it's a display bike. We bought it just so. I bought it because I was being a bit, a bit of a fuck it moment. Nice, well, I'll take three. You can't afford that. Sadly, that is true. Thank you as always for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. If you have any questions about this bike, uh, questions about bike fitting or this shop, please put them in the comment section down below and we'll do our best to answer them. If you want to check out James's shop, I'll put his website in the description down below as well. They do loads of bike fitting here. If you're a regular viewer of this channel, you will know that already. And for the rest of today, we're going to film lots more Bike Fit Tuesday. So thank you for watching. See you guys soon. Boop.